Psalms chapter 55, verse 17, evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles, the last elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. Just another quick lesson on praying. Praying without ceasing. Morning, noon, and night pray. Look, look, it's just to say pray always. That we may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. Death and destruction. We're in the midst of it. We're dead in the midst of it. And it's going to get worse. So what's, what's, one, what's one of our main weapons? Prayer. Begging. The word pray goes back to the word beg. You, you Look it up. We should be begging the Lord right now. Don't, don't wait. Man, no, if not, it's time. We're going to get that. Man, no, if not, it's time. Look, look. Wrath can suddenly come upon you, man. When you least suspect it, that's how it usually comes. When you least suspect it. So, so given, you see, the gift of prayer, we, we must use it. What, look, what, why not use it for a change? Israel Psalms 55, verse 17. Evening and morning and at noon, round the clock. That means you're praying around the clock. And everybody ain't got to see you praying either. You you can pray in your head. Every, you ain't got to be in the scripture. Tell us how to pray too. You don't be standing outside in front of everybody trying to be seen, standing in a circle. No, you go into your closet. You walk down the street in your head. You can pray in your car, in your house, before you eat, before you do a lesson. Pr pray always. You see, before you get on the bus, pray Pray, 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 evening and morning and at noon. We're living in some deadly serious times, man. I will pray. Even in the morning and at noon, will I pray and cry aloud. A whole lot of Israelites don't even pray. They don't even pray to the Lord, man. The Lord said, if you lacking anything, pray to me. Ask, meaning beg, I'll give it to you. It's, and it's, look, it's got to be backed up by faith, though. When we pray... It's got to be backed up by faith, Israel. Remember that. You got to know that your prayers are going to be heard and you got to be doing the right thing too. We must all be doing the right things if we want our prayers to be heard. Will I pray and cry aloud? And he shall hear my voice. Why? Because we're calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Remember, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe, man. Let's get this because this, this is another reason why we should pray. Pray without ceasing, right? Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 12. For man also knoweth not his time. You don't know when the Lord going to call your number. You don't know when the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is going to judge you. We, we don't know. We don't know. That's why we got to be constantly praying for protection. Praying for, for guidance. Praying for forgiveness, most definitely. Praying that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai take not their Holy Spirit away from us. I want to get that too. Since I quoted that through the spirit of your house by Shemel Rashai. Once again, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 12. For man also knoweth not his time. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, which is a trap, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, meaning in bad times, which we're living in when it falleth suddenly upon them. Our people catch a prayer hell right about now. And the last thing they're thinking about is praying to the Lord. That's the, only, that's the only way you get out of different situations, man, and different predicaments is praying to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's who they, who they call God and Jesus Christ. This devil really coming in. All we have is the Lord, man. All, all we can hope in is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, pursuant to, pursuant to the scriptures. But I quoted it, so let's get it. Psalm chapter 51, verse 10. Creating me a clean heart, a pure mind. This is a prayer. Oh, Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh Shai. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence. Because if he do, we through. If the Lord take the Rakakwa Dash away from us, we through, man. You see? 
No hedge of protection, no no nothing. The Lord ain't hearing you whatsoever, man. You threw out there. We see examples of that. We see the examples of the Lord taking his spirit away from individuals. And that's time you see him, they straight up through for real, for real, man. This is this is a scary thing. Remember, this is a king of terrors. He wounds, he kills, he keeps alive, all that, right? He make one poor, he make one rich. Cast me not away from thy presence. Psalms 51 and 11. Cast me not away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me, man. They were cockwadash. Being able to understand the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures will start, start with fear. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But fools despise wisdom and instruction, man. So we must pray. We must pray constantly. Let's, let's get this, though. Here's some quick scriptures, then I'm going to wrap it up. Just woke up like y'all pray more. Pray more. In the times that we're living in, pray more. St. Luke chapter 21, going straight to the point. St. Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Watch ye therefore. We're supposed to be watching what's going on. Keeping up. Look, look, knowing what time we're living in. Keeping up with the prophecies, right? Watch ye therefore and pray always. Pray always. And then the scriptures tell us those that fear the Lord, the angels that kept round about you. If you feel your how about Shimei Abishai, you got angels that kept round about you. I think it's Psalms 34. We'll see if we can get that next. Once again, though, St. Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Pray always. This devil got concentration camp set up. The hour of temptation is fastly approaching. Jacob's trouble is fastly approaching. Death and destruction on a massive scale. You got floods everywhere. Lightning strikes everywhere. Man, the, the danger around the corner. Remember, we're living in the shadow of death. So we most definitely pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. You see, wars, rumors of wars, class wars, civil wars, race wars, economic woes. People have written and went up um, $800 more, $500 more, $300 more, and they barely can pay the rent then, man. People going through it right about now. People pulling out their hair inside their house. People are actually losing their mind because they don't know what to do. But but we know what to do. We We pray. The scriptures say the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures shall be the stability of thy time. I, look, Israel, the Israelites that don't got this knowledge are miserable right about now. They're in their house not knowing what the hell to do. Them bills are outrageous. They, look, they're still trying to keep up with the customs of the heathens. They're still trying to celebrate Christmas knowing they ain't got no money. Trying to go out there and buy that, that, um, that um, what is it, that Thanksgiving ham, that glazed ham. About to lose it, man. And all hell breaking loose. We want to be, Lord willing, counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, because it's going to come. And to stand before the Son of Man, the Lord bringing death and destruction to this place, man, and it ain't going to let up. Psalms 34 and 6, this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him because he was praying to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He was praying to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in the proper Hebrew tongue, right? And saved him out of all his troubles, because that's what's coming. Troubles, Israel. Troubles, that's what's coming. The angel of the Lord and kept it round about them that fear him and delivered them. Look, delivered them out of all their troubles. That's why, that's why uh, more, more reasons on why we should pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It's nothing impossible with the God of the Bible. It's nothing too hard with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The scriptures tell us where man. All things are impossible, but not with the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Let's get this, Jeremiah, chapter 42. Jeremiah, chapter 42, verse 2. And said unto Jeremiah, the prophet, let we beseech thee, we beg thee, our supplications be accepted before thee, and pray for us unto the Lord thy power. Even for all the remnant, we're praying for the remnant of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel. For we are left but a few of many, as thine eyes do behold us, man. That, that's who we pray for, the elect. That the Lord thy power may show us the way wherein we may walk, and the thing that we may do. And the, and the Lord sent prophets to tell us which way to walk in, what to follow. Remember? Walk, walk this way, you see, 
Walk this way because we was walking the wrong way, man. Turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Turn back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. Rehearse the righteous acts, but the majority of our people, look, they say they ain't going to do it. Look, the majority of the Israelites say, look, they're, they're not going to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh They got that pride demon on them, so let it be what it's going to be. Look, we're praying for that remnant of Israel, right? Not the whole nation. This is Philippians chapter 4. You know, just flowing in the spirit. A quick little lesson through the spirit. I'm going to wrap it up in a few. Philippians chapter 4, verse um, 6. Concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching, matter of fact, that's the wrong one. Let's see. So like in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer, everything comes through prayer. We can do nothing without prayer. Lord's willing, we'll do this. Lord's willing, we'll do that, right? But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto your Howard. You need some, let your request be made known. You, you, look, you need some, then pray for it. Let your request be made known. And the Lord said, look, let it be backed up by faith. Let's get that James right quick. The Lord said, whatever you pray to him for, let it be backed up by faith, Israel, every time. Every time. James chapter 1, verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask, let him pray, let him beg of the Most High Yahweh. They give it to all men liberally, all Israelite men freely. And a braid of not, meaning he ain't going to keep it back from you. And it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith. Remember? Let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he, look, look, can't be doubtful, nothing wavering. You got to know once you pray for something, it's going to get answered, man. For he that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord, if, if, if it's not backed up by faith, Israel. Anytime we pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, look, look, it must be backed up by faith. It has to be backed up by faith, Israel. If not, the Lord ain't going to hear it. The Lord is not going to hear it. Let's see. Second Ezra. Like I said before, just a quick little hit on praying more. Morning, noon, and night, round the clock, praying. Round the clock, praying to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Second Ezra chapter 8. Let's see, verse 24. Oh, hear the prayer of thy servant and give ear to the petition of thy creature, man. You see? Oh, give ear to the prayer of thy servants. We're serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, right? To the best of our ability, right? And give ear to the petition of thy creatures, of thy creature, right? And, and, and those got to be them prayers. They got to be coming out daily, Israel daily remember give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the glory forever and ever and ever and ever amen those are the prayers of most definitely the lord's prayer we most definitely got to be saying the lord's prayer each and every day israel so i just want to hit some quick points man I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna make it that long this lesson wasn't going to be no drawn out lesson. Just want to do a, a quick little lesson on prayer. Let's see what else I got before I go. Let's see if it's anything else through the spirit of your by Shimei Um, Yeah, we, we, we'll go right back to James one more time. Let's go right back to James. James, the fifth chapter. James, chapter five. We we'll start at 14. Is any sick among you, let them call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. You see, anointing him with all in the name of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Our people are sick, sick in the head. Look, look, sick, sick, sick all over, man. The whole head is sick. Like the scripture said, James chapter five, verse 14 again. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with awe in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
and the prayer of faith. Look, the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of faith shall save the sick. Remember, comfort my people with these words. The prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him, man. You see, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another. Remember, we're praying for that remnant, right? That, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much Israel. So prayer, look, look, that, that's all we got. That's all we got. Remember, man know of not his time. Wrath is coming. We must constantly pray to you. How about Shem Yahushai? Morning, noon, and night, Israel. Constantly pray. Shalom.